What is going on everybody? Today we found a diesel pusher coach with a floor plan unlike anything I've ever seen before. Doug, what are we looking at here, sir? 2011 Atosca Meridian 40U. And this is it. There's there's a couple different 40 U's you can buy. You can get this coach on a 360 platform, so a Freightliner chassis with the 360 motor. But this was upgraded to the 380 motor, and just a just a super clean coach and well deserved for your channel. Yeah, absolutely. Really in excellent condition. Tell you what, why don't we do this video a little bit different? Let's show the folks inside, and then we're gonna come back outside. We're gonna take a look at the roof. Double check that go through all the bays and this does have those bays that are a lot different than anything I've seen as well so yeah quad slide coach king size bed tons of amenities come inside check it out Andrew. yes sir so this is in the wrapper and I'm looking forward to showing everyone this floor plan, what's going on in the bathroom there, but what's going on in this well, coach? Well, this is that coach I've been telling you about for probably two weeks. I've been so excited about, you know, as many coaches come and go across our, our path, Andrew, it's hard to get excited about some of them, but when you see a coach that's this clean and this nice in this price range, I mean, it just, it really is something to be excited about for me. And it's a diesel motorhome. The Itasca, the Meridian, this was the high-end Itasca model. I think this is about the same as the Journey or? Yeah, so this is the same coach as the, the Winnebago Journey. It's just the Itasca is gonna be your little bit higher grade options, whatnot, a little finer touches, things like that. And taking a look at the cockpit area up here, I like the color of the seats very simple basic diesel pusher cockpit area your passenger has some cup holders here a little spot for your cell phone this coach is all about the floor plan so what's plan. what's going on here well you got tile floors all the way throughout the coach till you get to the bedroom um it l-shaped sofa with an electric dropping bed it it really truthfully this this hole when this drops down it makes a massive bed area there you got a super nice you know comfortable uh, recliner you got TV prop properly positioned in the coach where you exactly where you'd want it so everybody can see the TV properly looks like a Samsung TV is that an upgrade it's or an original television it's not a smart TV but it, you know wouldn't be nothing to change that out to a uh, latest and greatest in smart television so yeah and then a fireplace do you know if that gives off heat at all it does. yeah fireplace that works and gives out heat and you something you notice too this is a 10 or 11 year old coach, Andrew. I've gotten zero foggy windows. Yeah. I have zero of the issues that you're gonna see with a lot of coaches in this era or this vintage, as one would say. Absolutely. Now I'm looking too, as we're talking, I'm noticing that there's some cup holders here behind the couch. I like the placement of that. We all need somewhere to set a drink down. And uh, Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. And day night shades, Andrew. I know you're gonna point this out, but I wanna yeah. beat you. I do like to beat you the punch on some of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I <laughs> get excited, yeah. These are updated MCD day night shades and they're very, very easy to use, very responsive too. Yeah, manual shades too, so less stuff that could break. Now, uh, talking about cup holders too, you've got a couple more cup holders. So when you are utilizing this big L-shaped couch, you got some places to set stuff down and we'll show the galley in a second but can you show us how this uh yeah real simple there's two buttons so each side has its own motor you can lay that motor down and it becomes a massive massive sleeping area and this just pulls out lays oh. down like that the other one will do the same thing we'll pop it out too yes sir boom and then you got plenty of room also. If you want to move that chair around, you could put an air mattress there. You could really sleep some people comfortable here. The, the real estate in here with the slides open, the four slides make it extremely wonderful living area for, uh, for owners. Yes, yeah, so let's take a look here. So in the galley, you've got a ton of countertop space here with this yeah, pull out, pull out center island or pull out the extra extra cab. That's real popular with this Corian. It really extends and making cooking uh, much more easy. Yeah, and I love the different levels here. You've got some countertop up here, and then you've got some drawers in here, and it looks like all the original owner's manuals are back there, and a real good looking tile backsplash. Real nice cabinetry too. I like the colors in this coach. Real simple. Natural woods is is what I like and I like the designs and the 
you know, Winnebago did a good job with this coach. The ellipse was the only step up from this coach. Yeah, I think a Tosca ellipse, uh, eclipse or ellipse, whatever it is, that, that there is a step up and then uh, into a tag axle. But this is really the, the bread and butter for a Winnebago was the Itasca Meridian and the Winnebago Journey. Number one seller, the Journey, and this is just the, the something different for the folks that didn't want the Journey but wanted that same good Winnebago quality. Nice little dinette area. And these chairs are in really good condition. I like the pattern on them. Slide out face up here. Just a really cool style. Maytag residential refrigerator. Residential fridge, all hooked up to the inverter so you can be uh, have all, keep all your food cold when you're driving down the road you don't need the generator on. And here's your command center. This is where you do uh, touch all your buttons with the exception of the slides, which are gonna be over there. But it does have uh, your, your electronic gauge uh, gauges, uh, power control source, so you can see what incoming power is. Right now we're, we're hooked to a, a 50 amp service. And then this this is huge, something that uh, Winnebago does in most of their diesel pushers, uh, auto generator start. I like it, yeah. very cool. Keep your batteries charged yeah, up. Absolutely, and one touch, you know, we're, gonna, we're not gonna turn the air zones, we don't wanna kick those on, but the one touch for all of your, uh, both of your zones in heating and air. Nice. And then now as we go into the middle of this coach, we've got a cool mirror design over here, but this is a trip. You're probably wondering where the bathroom is in this coach. So it does have a king size bed and we're going to show you more of what's going on in here. This is a really cool floor plan, but Doug, where's the bathroom in this well, coach? Well, there's two. You got to have a head on the right here with a wash basin. Yep. A little sink there and a cool style too, just on the backsplash there. I like the colors. You do have a little window with a vent in here. And then in here is going to be another sink with your huge, massive shower. Big oh, shower. yeah. Just a really large shower. So really cool how you basically have a separated water closet and yep. shower closet yep. and then sinks in both of them. But well, it, I think the, the benefit to that in this floor plan is it lets two people get ready at the same time. Yep. They're not falling all over each other. And the shower in here is massive. A very, very good sized shower. As you can see, I'm I'm a pretty large size. <laughs> I can do everything in here that I need to do. Yeah. So, yeah, very, very good size. I always like to see a good size shower. Yeah, oh, that's important, especially yep. the a lot of the big guys. But appreciate you showing us a lot of the shower tests here. Yeah, so absolutely. now going back, this just seems like a very comfortable rear bedroom with a lot of space here at, between the foot of the bed and these drawers, and you've got a ton of drawer space. I like this floor plan. It's got a king size bed and that's huge. Obviously everybody, that's the, one of the first questions I get on any coach where they're not familiar with the floor plan or maybe a floor plan that offers a queen and a king. The first question I always get, is that a king size bed? Is that a king size bed? Yes. Yeah, so king size bed, it does squeeze in some room, you know, it's a little bit, you got to squeeze a little bit. So I think this coach probably came out with a queen size bed. Somebody moved it to a, uh, to a king, but you got a ceiling fan window on each side of the bed you got a nice size tv back there and if you slide there's a little bonus there andrew you can slide that door or pull that door and it's a washer stack washer oh yeah stackable washer and dryer and then i really like the simple style of the mirrors you know they're not all dressed up just real large mirrors but it looks like we're gonna have some wardrobe there across the back of the coach and then a little shelf there too to just store uh store your shoes or whatnot and I've got to give everybody a close-up, too. What a cool style headboard. Do you know if that's the original headboard or yeah. if that's aftermarket? Well, it certainly matches some of the other uh, balances and whatnot in the coach. So I believe it is original. This coach has really been kept in amazing condition. Uh, very, very pleased with it. And I actually, I had to get this coach. I had to fight for it a little bit. <laughs> I, had to, I had to pay a little more than I wanted to. But when you see something in good quality, I mean, just a little, just a, I mean, we have, a, we're in Florida. My service guys haven't had a chance to touch this yet, but this filter, if you see the previous owners, these filters aren't all caked with dust. Yeah. They're, they're, they're pretty much, we're going to obviously clean it and go through it, but this coach is, this coach is very, very clean. Yeah, that's true. Here's a look at this filter too. Usually those are pretty, they get dusty pretty quickly. You so know, you could tell little things like that. We say it all over and over again, tells a story, but 
little clues like that really mean something when it comes to you tell you can tell how the coach is service that's a, a really good service indicator if they keep their filters clean andrew then they're going to do fil service the engine on time and the generator and all the things that need to be yeah done. all right i'll tell you what i'm going to go up on the roof so let's uh, let's go outside let's take a look at the roof of the coach the basement bays a lot of cool stuff going on Another thing I like about Winnebago, Andrew, well, you first of all, your water tank's up here, easily accessible. You got a fresh water tra drain here, but you can see it's all clean. That's, that's a good size uh, water tank. You know how big that, uh, the holding tank sure are? It's gonna be industry standard at 100 gallons, uh, but I like the way it's designed. It only takes up one part of the bay, but I really like these next bay doors, the way they come out. And it, what Winnebago does, they make, if you got some stuff that's extra wide, you got a slide tray and you can really fit like cable sideways. Or yeah, full pass through bay. And then there's even another little spot down here as well. And then that manual tray on one side of the bay, but then they leave it open if you have a little taller stuff. And there's a look at that frame there, that Freightliner chassis. Yeah, and this paint is in really good shape. I like the, almost like a burgundy or Merlot color. This coach is smooth. I mean, this is, you can tell it's got a got nice it. coat of wax and polish on it. Here's another uh, ton of storage in this coach, especially for a 40 foot coach, just massive amounts of storage. Absolutely. Back here is going to be water heater and extra storage. Yeah, even more space. They did not uh, did not skimp on storage. Do you know what the date codes are on the tires? Yeah, uh, 2017 date codes all in a magnificent condition. Definitely got some life left in them tires, Andrew. Yes, sir. Your def tank here, and I love how Winnebago built this chassis. I love how Freightliner and Winnebago finished off this chassis because if you peek your camera in there, uh, you can see how much room. There's just tons of room to work on the coach towards the engine. Oh yeah, plenty of room to get in there and do everything you need to do. It's a little more storage there, and so it's got the Cummins 380. 380 horsepower. 3000 Allison transmission. Yeah, we've got the sun on this side, really has this paint popping out here and a little more storage here. What's going on over here, Doug? It's just your chassis side of your uh, your Freightliner uh, fuse panels. And you got your chassis batteries on this side. Of course, this coach is heading back to, to Kentucky right after we filmed this video, Andrew. We're taking this coach back to Kentucky to do a full cavity search and inspection of our own, but probably be done before this uh, video ever hits live. Is that 50 amp cord? Plenty of room in that bay. Looks like a newer uh, surge guard protector there. And these wheels are really popping. A nice sheen to them. And seeing the coach and just the way that we, we uh, acquired it and in, in fantastic condition. Yeah. yeah. Here's the plumbing bay, all in good condition. And I think Winnebago does something a little bit, I don't know if I want to call it hot, but I kind of like it. But you can actually level, so you come out here and get everything plugged in, your slides out. You can actually level the coach oh, with, yeah. with the touch of one button. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you Of course, you leave your engine running, but you can literally touch. I actually, hit. Hey, that's how I leveled the coach. I touched that one button and it leveled the coach up just like it was supposed to this is gonna be the other side. Back in here is where your inverter's house back here. Yeah, the other side of that pass-through storage. So here's the other side of those pass-through bays with the, the dual doors that open and i apologize for the shadows it's a little bright out here on a sunny florida afternoon and it is a propane coach pretty much the only thing propane you're going to have a propane furnace and a propane water heater and your cooktop so but you also have roof airs with heat pumps as well oh uh, how big is the generator in this coach uh, it should be eight thousand. i don't have it open yet but i remember it being uh eight thousand uh it's a cummins eight thousand how many miles are on this coach this coach is a 2011 uh atosca meridian 40U with the 380 horsepower and it's got 62,000 miles. All right, I'm gonna go take a look up on the roof of this coach. Yeah, I can already tell this is in, this has been cared for. Super clean up here, not feeling any soft spots. Looks like these slide toppers are all in good shape. So we've got three ACs up here. You can see all these slide toppers are definitely in good condition. I do see a little bit of paint peeling up here on the top. Definitely really common on this vintage, but it's not too expensive to get those resprayed if that does bother you. Here's a look at this other slide topper. Again, in good condition. Three ACs appear to be all in good condition. 
looking at all the silicone around all the satellite holes here front cap is in really good condition up here super clean yep all right doug you found another super clean coach how much dough does someone need to become the next owner of this coach? $159,999, and we have financing available for this coach, Andrew. Believe it or not, even though it's 11 years old, we can get you financed on this coach. We can finance up to $125,000 very easily without an issue. So, we, I mean, it takes obviously good credit, um, and but at $125,000 with good credit, the banks really aren't digging for too many financials or proof of income. They're, most deals are, they're, you know, they're, we're just going to ride on your good credit. Yep. So depending on sales tax, someone's looking at about forty to fifty thousand dollars down. Yeah, it could be somewhere in that range, depending on where you where you where you live at, what your sales tax rate is. Yeah, forty to fifty grand down would be a great number to. We can try to get done with a little bit less if we need to. And can you take trade ins? Absolutely, love trade ins of any kind, up or down. If you got a Prevo to trade down, or if you got if you want to move up from a Class B van or whatever your situation is. Uh, trucks, cars, vans, SUVs, whatever it is, we take trains. And if someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? Well, the first thing you could do is jump on our website, Sewell Motor. It'll be at the at the end of the video, SewellMotorCoach.com. That's S-E-W-E-L-L, -L, MotorCoach.com. Uh, but if you don't have access to the internet and you just want to reach out to me directly, 859 613 Two five seven four. Awesome, Doug. Greatly appreciate you. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you. I have a wonderful and blessed day.